Hey everyone, it's Hydropump here, and today we are going to be going over the really big Edison tournament RBE3 or RBE T3 uh, tournament. I uh, got top eight. This is our top eight winner sides match, so I went technically five and zero. Uh, so I'm undefeated still, and at this point, there's four undefeated, and I'm playing as Monster Gamer one three three three. And so yeah, we're just gonna jump into it. And he is on Blackwing slash Veyu. So I think he wins the the die roll this time. No, I did. Uh, so looking at this hand, it is pretty dead. So I mean, I could summon Drago here just to get something out there. I don't think I do. I think I just pass. Summon just you know get Gores out there really early. Get, had like a distraction until I fixed my hand a little bit. Uh, his hand it looks uh, pretty good. It has Prison, Veyu, Brain Control, Rota, so he can get Greffer, get Arm Wing, and all that. And I think he, he pretty, know, pretty much knows what I'm playing at this point. He probably saw all my matches. So he, he uses the Burial just to like get really aggressive. I do have the Gores to stop one of the iron wings, so that's good. And then he just sets prison, drew cards of constants, but obviously it's not gonna be doing much here. So I think I just swing I think I summon Drago and just swing with everything. You know, it's like if he has mirror force, he has mirror force. And he was uh thinking on the attack, so and he let all that go through. Now could he have used prison at some point? Um, maybe. So I just pass. He draws Shura, which is a good. No, he just dumps it for a uh, Veyu. Get Arn Wing, play potentially. So he brain controls Gores, takes it, and then sum it down to 32. Then draw a drew an another dead card. <laughs> so I just swing. He prisons, and then he summons Arn Wing or Armor Master, and I lose. So on to the next game. I got upstart here, send uh, the guard. Uh, I think I just rejuve for one here, probably. People will probably think, like, is it better to rejuve, like, not have a great rejuve, like, one or two? Um, you're not really popping off. Do you want to hold it? I think you just want to get rid of it. That's, like, yeah, there's a chance you could draw, like, two more cards of constants and trade ins, like, the next turn and all that. But I think you just want to use it as an upstart when you can, just to like try to find something else. Otherwise you're just kinda you're just sitting on this, which isn't really doing a whole lot. It's not a terrible hand. Because you can go, you know, debris, get guard, banish, red med, you know, do something. You have vortex, yes, so you have some uh sweepers. And we drew into the future fusion, which is a really good draw. He has Dad, Blizzard, Prison, Kalut, and Bora. So he has a bunch of black queen monsters. He pokes. I draw blue eyes here. Now I I decided to go all in here. Uh I was gonna try to make a trident dragon play, but then I realized I was like one card short from being able to do that. If he had eight thousand life points I would have have would have had game. So I dumped the the White Stones, Drago, Clear Vice, Prime. And I summoned debris. Get the red med get prime and then it's like so if like the blue eyes are drew for turn or debris were like another spell or something like that I could have made a trident dragon instead of explorer dragon wing with debris dragon and prime material if I had a second card to pop other than future fusion then I would have done that and then I was under the impression that explorer dragon wing could uh, kill a Bora through like Gale or Kalut or not uh, Kalut or like uh, Honest or something like that so that's why I made this, but probably shouldn't make that in this situation either. Uh, could have made a clear vice dragon just to get over it, but yeah, I think I think I would show way like a turn before I just went off, because I don't think he would have gamed me, because like he probably just would have summoned another Bora. And I don't think he could have done a lot. He could have. 
Synchro bounces prison with Brionic. Then Kalut. So you'd have like you have Brio, Dad, Bora. Which I actually I think is game. So I don't know. It's a, it's a little unfortunate because I would have had game if he wasn't at 9,000, which I think Upstar Goblin is necessary in this deck. Just because, like, you're just taking three bad cards that you would normally play and just took them out for Upstar Goblin. So that's why it's more consistent in my eyes, is you're just not playing as many bad cards as you need to. But there might be, like, a game or two where Upstar Goblin does get you. Where, like, because if I had the Trident Dragon uh, play, I, this, like, if I made Trident Dragon, it was at 88. Uh, hundred points, but it was two hundred away. Uh, so again, if I had one more spell, uh, and then, I mean I could technically pop the latent vortex, but he has five cards in hand. I assume one of them was Kalut, which it was. So if I just try to swing with Trident Dragon, I would have lost out to that. And then he just makes a giant play, and uh, I'm dead. So. Couple unfortunate draws, uh, unfortunate situation in that last game, uh, where I was like, I was so close to getting the the game shot, and this didn't quite work out. Uh, I'm not sure if there was anything else I could have really done. Like if I would have just gotten Drago, then I would have done. This would have happened where I did. Oh, I could have used Lightning Vortex too. But I don't know if that's a winning situation because he could just run over my board. Like, say a Lightning Vortex to Bora he had on the field. And then he's just going to summon another Bora, run over my red med, and then I'm just kind of st stuck. I can't do a whole lot. So, yeah, not not much I could have done there. He just had a really good hand a couple games and had a little bit slower hand. And that's probably like the strength of this deck is going to rush you down. Uh, the combination of Vade Turbo and Black Wings just makes like a really aggressive Black Wing deck, which is where I think the Black Wing deck kind of shines. It's kind of control and aggro, uh, so yeah, it can uh, be a little hard to deal with, but I think I just kind of finally got to the point where I just didn't have the strongest hand possible. But anyways, this was top eight winner side, so I'm gonna fall down to like the top eight loser side. Uh, I think I am actually get like the play for this top six play out because it's a bracket tournament. Uh, but I'll have that match up here next for you guys to watch. So thanks for watching. And I'll get to uh, catch you guys later.